Here Stampers. I'm Tammy White and welcome to my first My Digital Studio tutorial. This tutorial will be your basic My Digital Studio. We'll be creating a photo album using a template and an autofill. What we're looking at now is the My Digital Studio interface. I've just opened it and we are going to create a photo album today. Once we've checked off the photo albums, it's given us our options of sizes. We'll do an 8x8 square and today we're going to create a designer album. It's now bringing up the different templates available. We have a great assortment of templates already made. I'm going to choose the Summer Home Simply Scrapping Kit option and then I'll click Next. These are all of the different pages that I can add and remove and I can choose more of one if I like one design and take some designs off. We'll just stick with what the basic template is for now. I have two different options. One is to choose my own photos and put them on the pages I want or we can do what's called an autofill which we're going to choose. So now I'm going to click add photos. I've chosen the folder that I would like it to bring my photos from. Since I want to use all of these photos today I'm going to click select all and it will select all of the photos automatically and then I'm going to click OK. I'll choose the next option and it's going to ask me to name my project. So I'll choose a name for it choose finish and now it's creating my album for me. This process might take a couple of minutes. Once it's completed you'll see it's automatically inserted the photos from the folder I chose into my album and these are the pages that were already created in the program that it automatically inserted in here. And you can see that took about less than a minute to create pretty cool huh? Now I'm getting to this page and I'm noticing that some of my images are being covered up by some of the embellishments on the page. So what I'll do is I'll simply move these embellishments. I'll click on the ones that are overlapping and simply move them down the page. Now I have here a cover page. If I choose to print this out through Stampin' Up's printer I can actually print out a, a book with a photo on the cover. If I did that, I would want to change this text simply by clicking on the text box and changing the text here to be the text that I want it to read on my photo app. Now once I have written the text that I'd like to write, I'll click that box and come over to our sidebar under the text and then change the text to the font that I'd like it to be. I can choose any font that's installed on my computer and I can also change the size of the font. Now, I would like this to be my cover page, but I would like it to have a little bit more on the cover page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my photo and start with that. I'd like to add a mat to it. So I'm coming over to my left hand side. I'm going to choose the mat and I can choose the width of the mat. I could have it be thinner or thicker. I'll go with a thinner mat. I'm going to put that on two and that gives me a mat on my photo. And now I'd like to give it some dimension by adding a drop shadow. So I'll simply click on the drop shadow option. And what I can do is move that shadow exactly where I'd like it to be on my photo. And I can make it give it some more blur or less blur and make it trans darker or lighter. And then click OK. So now we've just added a shadow to our photo. And maybe I'd like to insert an embellishment. Up at the top here, I can insert regular embellishments like ribbons and brads. I can also insert stamps. How to do that is I click on this little icon that has a little rubber stamper. And then I'm going to browse through all of the stamp sets that are available in my, my digital studio. Now most of these have come with the program. I'm going to choose the medallion. This was a download that I just purchased last week and I just thought it was fabulous. I love the medallion stamp and I'm just going to drag that right over to my workspace and it, it's going to come into my work, workspace um, as the top layer. Now I'd like it to be under the photo and I'd like to change the color of it. I don't want it to be black. So I'm going to come over to my right hand sidebar and change the color by clicking on that icon. and I'm going to make this white and then I'll click OK. 
but I'd also like it to be a little transparent so I'm going to move the opacity down a little bit so that gives it some transparency. I'm going to put that maybe at 50. And then I'm going to right click on my stamp so I can move it to the background. So I'm going to tell it to send it to the back layer. So now it's under my image on, the, on my cover page. 